the blue of my shirt does match the blue of my background and it's just fucking like it is just <sighs> hi hello hi hi today i want to talk about um kind of how i got through waiting for testosterone but it's more of like a story thing anyway back when i was waiting for testosterone it was absolute torture from the moment that I knew I wanted to start tea. Once I knew I wanted to start testosterone, it was very difficult to wait. Uh, when I was in that in-between period where I was still weighing the options, it was fine, but the moment that I knew I wanted tea, I was like, okay, like now, like I want it like five minutes ago. And it was really rough because I had to wait, fuck, I don't know, like six months, eight months, I had an appointment five months before, but like the waiting to get the appointment, it was just, it was fucking, it was a long process. During that time, I had to really find the silver lining and figure out a way to be able to tolerate waiting. So the first thing I did was really, it was, there was a lot of pep talking involved. I would basically count every passing second of every day as a victory. And it was really about realizing that as much as time felt as though it were standing still and everything felt very stagnant, I had to remind myself that every minute that passed by was gone and it wasn't coming back and it was bringing me closer to my goal. And it was really, it was a daunting task, but I really needed to keep myself in that mindset where even if it's been just one day, that's one fucking day that's not going to come back. And it's one day that I've gained toward my goal so that that was my one sort of you know i had to remind myself that every day i lived was the last one of that day that i would ever have to live and the natural progression of time was on my side so that helped but the other thing that kind of helped me was just sort of thinking of it okay it's gonna sound weird i kind of just thought of it as like my peter pan base because i was you know 20 21 and i looked like i was still you know 10 or 12 and it really made me feel like Peter Pan most of the time. When I was gendered correctly, it was in the context that I was this young boy. And that kind of helped me odd enough to think of myself as Peter Pan and just sort of romanticize that idea. That helped me sort of enjoy it. And I was like, okay, this is the last time in my life where I will look this young and I will just be this perpetual young boy. So that was kind of, you know, me just trying to be optimistic. I mean, I know I know it's rough. There's nothing I can do to make it less rough, but thinking about it that way and thinking of it as, you know, just sort of like enjoying my youth and enjoying my like, you know, forever stuck as a young boy look was helpful at least uh, a little bit. And again, just sort of reminding myself that time was passing and I would get there and, you know, taking even the smallest fucking victory wherever I could. That was a lifesaver. So, sorry again, I keep making these like really short videos and, um, eh, eh. I don't have the attention span to watch long videos, so I feel like there must be at least one, one person out there who's like, God damn, thank you, Aaron, for not dragging this on. So, <laughs> that was it. That was just my, my short little story of how things were working in my mind when I was waiting for a testosterone. So, that's it. Hope that's at least somewhat helpful and <laughs> not just a useless story. And if it was a useless story, I hope it was entertaining. Thanks again for watching. I love you all very dearly and take care. Bye.